you're very welcome. Welcome back to the Titanic. We shall continue our salvage in our little sub. Continue our salvaging. Radio check, CCGS Wilson. Signal is great, Dr. Lynch. All right. I'm just marking a cargo hold on your map. You can access it from the number two hatch on the forward well deck. I'll make my way to the hatch and deploy Predator. Okay, here we go. Make sure that's smooth. Let's investigate a little more of the Titanic. The cargo hatch, too. I remember it all, very clearly, from the moment that my father wakened me, because of course I was in bed and asleep, until I saw that ship sink and afterwards when I heard the people about it. I remember it all vividly. Do you remember the panic, the fright? Were you panicked and frightened, or, or did you kind of, being seven years of age, not really take it all in? Oh, no, I took it all in, but so the panic started, of course, after the all too few lifeboats had gone, and people were coming up on deck hoping to get into a lifeboat, and there weren't any boats for them. That's when the panic started, which we could hear when we were in the lifeboat. I suppose as a very young person, you could see adults panicking oh, and screaming. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. It's horrific. Dreadful. And your father went down with the ship. Yes, he did. Your mother, however, was she spared. She was saved with, with me, yes. Mother. That's right. Wow. And uh, do you, I do, I hate to drag it up, but do you remember going away in, in one of the dinghies and looking back at the ships? I do indeed, yes. Very clearly. And to this day, I hate looking at pictures of ships. Okay. Find there. It might be a good idea to shine your sublights down the void again. There will be a lot of debris down there. Okay.
Oh, I have to aim it. Okay. I haven't done this right. Heading down now. Oh. Okay. That makes more sense. You were right about the debris. The cargo crates and barrels in here have almost all disintegrated. I didn't realize it was carrying so much cargo. Surely this wasn't all just for passengers. No, most of this was produce and commercial goods being shipped to the United States, along with the passenger cargo. I'll have a look around here before moving on to the mailroom, see if I can find anything related to Henderson. See anything useful here. If he did have a package, it looks to be long gone. Let's check out the mail room then. Where's the access point again? It's in the side of the wall towards the back of the room. You'll see the metal has deteriorated there. It looks like some areas are decaying faster than others. Yeah, it is. We have a request from a conservation group to photograph the opening so the decay can be monitored. No problem. to the mail room. The deck plans show there is a parcel room to the right of the mail room, near the stairs. This room is pretty well preserved. Even the mail... I can't see anything here. Try the bags near the stairs. There should be some sacks of registered mail destined for New York there. Sorry, <laughs> crab friend. Well, the Titanic's his now. There we go. Found the New York bags. Can you see Henderson's name on any packages? W.J. Henderson. I think this is it. The packaging isn't in great condition, but the contents look okay. I can't believe we found it. Is there anything else there with his name on it? I can't see anything else. I'll make my way up now. Great. See you soon. Oh. Got his package. Okay, let's go back to the submersible. So there's no post for me first, please. <laughs> let's go. Ah! Okay. Have to clean. Hey, I'll just get this cleaned up before our call. Clean our stuff. We're in this little room with Jean. I think that's what I say at the. Okay, so. I'm surprised the packaging survived at all. Hmm, this case will need a bit of care. A soak, scrub, PEG bath, and then drying. Ship knife. Oh, 
troopers. Luckily, glass and gold don't need much attention when recovered. Just a quick scrub to remove the dirt. Wow. Gotta drop it. <laughs> I'm getting worried. Jillian will be so excited to see this perfume bottle. So I guess that it being French is correct. Hi, Jillian. Hello. What do you have for me today? We made our way into the cargo hold and mail room and found William's gift. It was a small parcel in the registered mail sacks. That's amazing. I honestly thought that it was a long shot to recover the parcel. What's inside? A leather case containing a small glass perfume bottle. Looks like gold detailing. You were right with your suspicions. It's French. <laughs> I knew it. I'll send through a photo. Hmm. Now that this is recovered, though, I don't know where we should search next. Honestly, <laughs> we aren't sure either. Uh, we were hoping the journal and his gift might give us some indication of William's final movements, but we're at a dead end. You should continue your search of the bow. There's still a large portion of the ship unexplored. Yeah, we need to take advantage of this good weather. What area should we explore next, then? I suggest the D-Deck reception area and Turkish baths. We haven't really ventured into the debris field yet, either. It covers such a large area, though. Three by five miles. And some areas are denser in artifacts than others. It would take us years to search the entire area. What about that mosaic imaging of the wreck completed recently? Could we identify smaller areas to search from those images? The divers focused on mapping out the wreck itself more than the debris field. But I heard some other diving teams have started on the surrounding areas as well. I could contact those dive teams to find out what they have mapped. They may have finished some of the denser debris areas. It's worth a shot. Let us know what you learn. In the meantime, we'll keep looking for clues and let you know if we find anything of interest. Thanks. I hope to hear from you soon. Why the D-Deck reception area and Turkish baths? They're both areas Henderson would have visited, and we have jobs from other contractors in those areas, so it's a good opportunity. Two birds, one stone, you know? Fair enough. Will we need any upgrades for this next dive? Yeah, we need to attach some specialty equipment to Predator for these contracts. The D-Deck reception is a basic photography opportunity, so that's fine. But the Turkish Baths is a recovery job. A recovery? Another dive team was searching that area, and their tethered ROV lost communication with the submersible. They've asked us to recover their ROV for them, and they've been kind enough to supply us with the necessary upgrades. Do you think it'll be difficult to get out? Not sure yet. We'll find out when we get down there and try. The ROV looks to be trapped under a piece of pipe, so we need to lift the pipe and then drag it out with a hook. What equipment have they given us? It's sitting over there on the table next to Predator. Should be easy enough to attach it all. I'll get onto it now, then. This flotation gear will help me rescue the downed ROV. There's an empty float bag, a tank of petroleum jelly, and an this hook and rope will be useful when I rescue the downed ROV. Okay. It's a flotation gear. And the uh, this is under claw here. It's cool. <laughs> oh, it's a bit early. Okay. Is that it? Oh, with these bits. Oh, 
attached. She's Thanks. ready for tomorrow. Get some rest. We've got a big day tomorrow. Okay. Pop goes another episode of the Titanic. So thank you very much for watching. Catch you next time.